Whiskey Jason. Whiskey from the viewpoint of an American in Germany tasting rare and exotic whiskeys. And today I have Hyde Cast Strength 8-year-old single grain Irish whiskey. Now this is an interesting bottle because over here in mainland Europe, I've never seen it before. I bought this bottle from the Celtic Whiskey Shop in Dublin. I paid a lot for the um, postage together with the Dingle batch number three. And I like Hyde. I've actually done Hyde one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, here, for example, is bottle number six over here. A 19, um, it's a President's Release 1983 Commemorative Edition. And this was um, the Black Label, a very interesting blend. Now, this is not a blend. This is actually a single grain whiskey and eight years old limited edition i have bottle number 165 of 1000 this was bottled in august of 2017 at the abv of 90, 90 59 the master distiller i do not like him using this name it's alan hyde mr hyde you do you did not distill this you can call yourself the master blender but you're not the master distiller I do not personally like that. Non-chilled, filtered, triple distilled. Therefore, I'm going to bet that it either came from Middleton. Eh, Bush Mills? Probably. So it says here, um, presenting our single grain Irish whiskey in its purest form with unparalleled intensity of flavor and texture. Our special limited edition hide cast strength is non-chilled, filtered, and bottled at its natural cast strength of 59 point. 59 ABV. The rest of it is the tasting notes, which I'm not going to read. So, um, beautiful, beautiful color, as you can see here. Um, a nice labeling. Also here, you can see the hide here. Unfortunately, it's not available in mainland Europe. At least I haven't seen it any place. And I do not really think it's made its way over to the States. Now, 59% is a little bit too much for my taste buds, and therefore I added a little bit of water already. And what I do get is... Mmm, a very, very, very wonderful moment of vanilla, a little bit of cinnamon together with malt grain. Now, pot still means it's, it's in a pot still. You have to clean the pot stills. Single grain means it's a continuous still. It's a coffee still, just like they do in bourbon. Woodford Reserve, pot still. One of the very, very few bourbons that use pot still. Jim Beam, Wild Turkey, um, Jack Daniels, everyone else uses basically Heaven Hill. Use these big, big column stills. Barton's, um, 19... Um, what is it, 1795 or whatever it is, um, they all use a column still and so they can go through there and become um, up to 90, 94%, 96% pure alcohol. And then they water it down for the barrels, 62.5%. It would be a bourbon. In, a, in, Europe, in Europe, they also use the 62.5% 62 in order to trade barrels more often. And um, then they just let it rest in these old, um, usually first fill bourbon or second fill or third fill. Now, it does not say first fill bourbon barrel. Therefore, I'm guessing it's from a second fill or third fill bourbon barrel. Because otherwise, they would have loved to have used this single grain first fill bourbon barrel. And um, grains in, in develop a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful moment. Um, I have here from that boutique, a whiskey company, a uh, single grain Scotch whiskey for North British, which is a massive producer of whiskey um, right outside of Glasgow or Edinburgh. I think it's Edinburgh. And this is a 27 year old grain. This is fabulous. This is one of my most favorite whiskeys um, there are. And it's a very, 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 very nice whiskey. This is not as old, therefore, it's not as perfect. Now, I do enjoy the nose tremendously, but it's a very, very small band of flavors. And towards the end, I'm actually going to say I have a little bit of <laughs> hairspray and dish soap. Soap to do the dishes with. I know those are not great marketing terms, but that's actually what I'm getting. I'm so sorry. Honest Jason here. Honest Whiskey Jason. 
Mmm. 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 I like grain, especially with a, enough water to bring it down to about 50-52%. Mmm. Could be a little bit longer. Um, Kilbegan has a single grain. Also an interesting thing. It's not as good as this, but it costs almost half of this price. Maybe even a third sometimes. Mmm. Very, very nice. And Hyde has played around with some grains and some mixing some grains with some old um, single malts and so on, creating blends. And they basically had something left over. Now, 1,000 bottles. Um, I have a friend. She owns www.irish-whiskey.de. And she did a single barreling of, of a single um, grain. Nine years old, 240 bottles. So 56.9%, um, also triple distilled basically the same thing i tasted this compared them in the german video this is a little bit smoother a little bit better so we're talking about four barrels all they had were four lousy barrels to make this small batch all right <clears throat> i'm going to give this a b minus it's a good whiskey it's nice but compared to other things out there it's a b minus and for value for money it's a c minus okay Whiskey Jason here, whiskey from the viewpoint of American and Germany, tasting rare and exotic whiskeys. Hyde, cast strength, eight year old, B minus, C minus for value for money. What's your favorite Hyde whiskey? I'm going to say President's Cast number one. That was my favorite. It was a 10 year old. I think it was the rum cask. It might have been the sherry cask. It was delicious. Unfortunately, almost impossible to get anymore. And that's a good and bad thing about Hyde is they just do batches and they put the number on them. This has no number whatsoever. Uh, but still, it's a very, very nice product. Thank you for watching. Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, my videos come out. See you soon. Bye-bye.